My name is Gavin Evans and this is my review of The Last of Us Episode 4 and this review will have spoilers but as someone who loves The Last of Us and The Last of Us Part 2, this show is just nothing but a huge disappointment. When it was first announced, I was really hoping they would focus on different characters characters join this same apocalypse but when they announced it was going to be Joel and Ellie again at first I was skeptical but then I'm like you know what I get to see my favorite story play out again so you know what I'm okay with this and by this point I've just come to realize that I wish they just went in the opposite direction that they focused on original characters and original stories in this post-apocalypse world instead of Joe and Ellie because I just can't help but compare it to the games and when the game is just my favorite story and I love and adore it and they're just switching things up and making them worse and just making the characters less interesting I can't help but be annoyed. This version of Joel is not Joel. Like, the fact he actually opens up to Ellie and tells her about Tommy just is a completely baffling decision. Joel doesn't start to open up to Ellie until spring, until the very last section of the game. And here he's already talking so much and just nothing about him feels like Joel. And then we get to one of my favorite segments. Well, they go into Pittsburgh in the game and there's this injured guy. And Joel's just like to Ellie, buckle up. Wait, are you going to help him? He ain't even hurt. And here it's just done in such a honestly cheap, terrible fashion. And they just crash and they seem to be alright and after this episode I went back and watched the scene from the game and it was just handled infinitely better. The delivery of the characters, the tension, the stakes, just everything. And then when Joel's getting choked out and Ellie has to save him, I'm just like, okay! This is when we're bringing in that moment from the game. This is smart. I'm okay with this change. But then instead of shooting and killing him, Ellie just shoots him. So the moment has zero impact. And Joel just instantly is there for her. Like, sorry, tell me I don't know what the definition of an adaptation is. Complain that I'm comparing it to the games all you want, but I much prefer it when Joel's just like, I'm lucky I didn't get my head blown off by some goddamn kid. And then Ellie's like, you know what? No. How about, hey, thanks Ellie, I know it was either him or me. You got anything like that for me? That is much better character writing than Joel just instantly comforting her and instantly trying to be there for her. And I just feel like they made these two, um, honestly, two of my favorite characters ever. And they've just simplified them and simplified their relationship. And I'm just not a fan of that. That's all I really have to say about Joe and Ellie because, like, just nothing happens here. Like, nothing. All this episode is that Ellie's telling Joe some jokes. And, okay... It works great in games when you're walking around, but here it felt very forced. It would have been much better if she didn't bring out the book at the gas station, but she did it when they were trying to sleep. So that could have been handled better. Uh, but the only thing that happens is that they crash in Kansas City. And after last week's episode where it killed all momentum and nothing happened, we get the exact same issue heal. Like there is so much to the story and to the game and you're just, the pacing in this show is an absolute nightmare. 
And then you introduce this new character played by Melanie Leninsky. And I'm going to be completely real with you guys. This is an atrocious performance. Like, it's embarrassingly bad to watch her. She's trying so hard to come across as the bad, tough, bad guy, but the bad, tough, bad guy, the bad, tough villain, there you go, that sounds much better, and it just sounds so incredibly forced. And then you've got Jeffrey Peels, who did a fine job, not a lot to his character so far. They keep talking about Sam and Henry, and we know who they are, but... I don't know, I feel like they're building them up a bit too much. In some ways, it feels kind of fan service Um, They're hinting towards a blood or too soon. Okay, I know that Last of Us isn't just about the infected. It's about the characters above all else. But we've only came across infected once, really. They feel like a complete afterthought in this show. And the fact we're already skipping ahead to the Blodo, like... I don't know, like, I feel like we should encounter the Clickers a few more times before we get to the big guy. Like, am I the only one who thinks that... Like, they'll just... They just don't care about this aspect of the story? Um, what else can I say? Um, Bella Ramsey, I've defended. I thought she was really bad in, like, the first ten minutes of this episode. Very over the top. And, yeah, like, um, just nothing happens. I don't like this version of Joel. I think the pacing in this show is really bad. I mean, I guess it's got some entertainment value behind it, but... I still didn't really care for this episode, if I'm being completely honest, and it really does bum me out. So, yes, um, I'm still hoping that next week's episode is better. I'll continue to wish that, because I do love this story and this these characters. I just feel like they're doing a dirty heel. I don't think they're doing a good job. And at this point, I wish they just focus on different characters and different stories in this world. But, um, yeah. Have you seen The Last of Us Episode 4? What did you think about it? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, stay tuned for some more videos soon. And Gavin, 